What's going on everybody? I'm Hayden Wright, a curated expert. I'm Brandon Westberg, also a ski expert at Curated. And then this episode of Head to Head, we had the Armada ARV 106 versus the Atomic Bent Shetler 110. We're out here at Powder Mountain today in Utah. Really close comparison between these two skis. We had a lot of fun out there today. So our first category is gonna be grooming or carving performance. Yep, then we do a little bit of free ride. We'll scale them on that, free ride. And then lastly is freestyle, especially for these skis, which are both full twins, totally designed to get jibby and get in the air. That's gonna be a big one here. Just so you know, we're not sponsored or paid by any ski brands. And what this does is this just gets you the most unbiased opinion about these skis and it's just two buddies out here having fun. Our first category is carving performance. I did notice that this chattered quite a bit on this firmer snow, wouldn't you agree? Tip and tail chatter, and we think it's just because it's so light. Definitely at higher speeds, the Atomic Ben Chetler 110 did chatter. Contrary to that, at some lower speeds that we skied it at, it was super fun, playful, and surfy. We were smearing turns out there, nice corn snow once the sun hit the snow all day. The ARV 106, super fun ski, tons of the camber underfoot. Being only 106 millimeters wide underfoot, I had a real easy time getting it edge to edge. I thought it carved really well. Going back to why the ski is so damp and didn't shatter, definitely the main difference here is weight difference in both of these skis. We got the ARV coming in at about 20% heavier than the Bent Shetler 110. So that's certainly a reason of why it's more damp and able to have better edge hold while carving. And overall, I thought it takes quite a bit to actually drive this ski though. Yep. If you're in the back seat or not wanting to put a lot of energy into carving this ARV 106, it may not be for you. Then the Atomic Bent Shetler 110 is definitely more of a chill, slower, fun groomer ski. So for carving, what do you think, man? What are you picking? My final decision in the carving category here is gonna be the ARV 106. So I'm as well, I'm gonna have to give it up to the ARV 106 for the carving category in this head to head. Our second category in this episode of head to head is freestyle. The 106 for freestyle, just like Armada states, it is from the park to the pow. Very poppy ski, fun. 106, in my opinion, not too wide. Maybe not my first choice on a park ski, but it still held its own for freestyle and some of those jibs. What did you think about the uh, Chetler 110s? I thought the Ben Chetler 110s was an absolute dream to be a freestyle skier on. This ski comes in at quite a bit lighter than the ARV 106. We we're both out there doing some threes, nose butter, tail butters. It was definitely awesome to have a fun and playful ski that's also flexible. We were both able to catch some air, do some spins. I would definitely say it has a little bit of an upper hand on the ARV in terms of swing weight and overall just weight of the ski. I think ARV 106 being a bit heavier was way more supportive on landings than the Bent Shetler 110. It's a bit skinnier and I didn't expect it to be more supportive than a 110 underfoot. True. Just because of the weight of that ski, it was super stable when catching bigger air. If you love a nice damp ski with stable landings and you love going bigger a lot more than you like going smaller, then the ARV 106 might be for you. The Ben Chetler 110s were a super fun ski. Brandon said it best, the swing weight, when we were throwing threes and getting it up on edge and buttering, it was like there was barely anything on your feet. So overall, really hard pick for me, but I think I'm gonna go with the Bent Shetler 110 here, mostly because of the swing weight feeling like nothing. You know, Atomic doesn't necessarily advertise the 110 as a park, you know, specific, you know, ski that's a little bit wider, where Armada with the 106, a little bit less of a ski under your foot, does say from park to pow. But I think freestyle for me as well, uh, Atomic Chetler 110s. So our last category in this episode of Head to Head is free ride performance. The ARV 106 was super fun taking it off trail. Both skis have pretty unique tip and tail designs. Armada's is the Schmier Tech, and basically what that is is the ski isn't flat all the way on the bottom. Picture kind of like a boat, you know, a boat hull. So this ski off trail in the free ride areas, getting to those jumps and zones where you can free ride at a resort, 
It definitely helped once the snow got a little softer. So something to consider if you're skiing a lot of spring skiing and stuff. Um, what do you think about the Chetler 110s? We have a little bit more rocker in the tip here, which gives me great confidence that this ski would rage in the pow any amount of snow from two inches all the way to a foot or two plus. Mm -hmm. This would be an excellent ski for it. Something I would have appreciated was maybe a little bit heavier of a ski or damp of a ski. So what do you think in the free ride category between the Chetler 110 and the ARV 106, what are you taking in that category? For me, it's the ARV 106. I just enjoy a little ride. bit damper <laughs> ski for my skiing style in the free ride category. For me and my skiing style, the, the little bit of quickness turn edge to edge, even though it is a little bit wider, I think the weight played into that. So for my pick, I picked the uh, Atomic Ben Chetler 110s in the free ride category. For my personal skiing style, I do like to be supported underfoot and like to remain stable when I'm going bigger or doing sketchy airs, which I kind of do a lot of. I'm gonna go with the ARV 106. Well, that being said, I am choosing the Atomics. <laughs> so we're after the flip flop. These ones did it. It wasn't the easiest decision and I have no beef with these skis <laughs> whatsoever. But if I had to pick them, these ones, they were just light. They were quicker edge to edge and they just kind of fit my style of skiing better. So at the end of the day, my decision is gonna have to be the Ben Chetler 110s. If you need help finding the right pair of skis for you, please reach out to either Hayden or myself or any of the other fantastic ski experts on Curated. Yes, and if you like what you see, don't be shy. Hit the like button, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Tell us what skis you'd like us to see and we're gonna start getting through those lists and we'll start making more head-to-heads.